Welcome to this Easy Ads tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to measure your funnel's performance using the dashboard. Let's start! After you launch your campaign, this will be your view. Opposite to the Ads Manager, the Easy Ads dashboard only shows you the really essential data that you need to measure your funnel's performance. At the very top, you'll find your ad spend, which is the amount of money you spent on your advertising campaign so far. Next to it, you'll find impressions, which measure the number of times a user or an audience member views your advertisement. Right next to it, you'll find clicks, which measures the number of times people clicked on your ads. Finally, you'll find revenue, which measures the amount of money you've earned from your advertising campaign so far. At the top right corner, you'll find a date range selector, which allows you to view data from the last 7 days, the last 14 days, or the last 30 days. These are the four key performance indicators that help you measure your campaign's success or campaign's performance in a very simple way. Right under it, you'll find a campaign card and an automation card. Campaign card allows you to manage your daily budget, the products promoted inside the funnel, and your overall campaign settings. Under this main section, you'll find the data related to each advertising funnel stage, starting with awareness and ending with loyalty. To reveal the rest of the metrics of each advertising funnel stage, just click on Show More. As you can see over here, this user already got two total orders from the awareness funnel stage. He has an excellent click-through rate of 6.08%. For reference, the ballpark is 2%. Since his campaign is relatively new, a return of ad spend or ROIs of 1.82 is perfect. On to the second stage of the advertising funnel, which is consideration. As a reminder, in this stage, we are retargeting all of the website visitors who visited the website without purchasing any products. The metrics in all of the advertising phases are identical. With all of these metrics and data available, how do we know if a campaign is performing good or bad? To answer this question, all you need to look at is your CTR or click-through rate. A CTR measures the number of clicks that your ad gets against the number of times your ad is shown. In other words, this metric answers the question, out of all of the people that viewed my ads, how many people did actually click on my ads? Why do we focus on the CTR and not on impressions, for example? The reason for this is a click translates into a great deal of interest. You wouldn't click on an ad that you're not interested in. Instead, you would just scroll past it and ignore it. That's why your CTR equals the total amount of clicks divided by the total amount of impressions. An ideal CTR is 2%. Below 2% is considered bad. Above 2% is considered good. If your CTR is below 2%, it means that either your products are overly saturated or your funnel settings are incorrect. In this case, we can tell that the problem is really within your ads. So the best thing to do is to create a new campaign with better product images, better ad copy, and better audience targeting. If your CTR is is above 2% and you're still not getting any results, it means that your ads are working, people are interested in your products and they click on your ads to land on your website to learn more about them. But once they arrive to your website, they don't purchase for some reason. The best thing to do here is to pause your campaign and frankly any other advertising that you have going on and to reconsider your product design, your on-site user experience or product pricing, as these can be the main objections as why someone who's interested in your product would not buy it from you. Keep in mind that if you just launched your campaign, it is still in the learning phase. Performance during this phase is unstable and the costs are usually bad. So make sure you give your campaign at least seven days before judging its performance. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.